So how do you let people know their role in systematic oppression or racism was the question. And uh, I'm going to try to give a, a nuanced answer, right? Because I think that there are different ways that different people show up, right? So one of the, the ways I think is that, you know, we need to be honest. So the way we're having an honest conversation right now, sometimes it's not appropriate to skirt around the issue. I know people don't like it. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it causes conflict. I know there's tension. But sometimes it's not appropriate to just be like, well, okay, I'm going to let them get away with that because they're older or because of the, you know, we have like, we have different ideas about, oh, well, you know, she, that's, She's an older lady, like, that's how they are. No, we need to stop that. <laughs> we need to start checking people. You know, in the hip-hop culture, like, check them straight up. Like, we, you know, we got, we got problems. Like, if you're going to refer to women that way, we got problems, right? So I think that's being head-on is, is one of those strategies. Not the only one. I'm going to offer you a couple ideas, OK? I also think it's important for us to have conversations like this so that we can equip other people to talk to other folks. So I'll give you an example. So I'm, I, I'm in an interracial marriage. My wife is white. And we have a very clear understanding that it's not my job to talk to white folks about race unless I'm working. <laughs> right? So if I'm showing up in a situation like this, oh, I got y'all all day, because I'm being paid for this labor. OK? But, if I'm at Laguna Beach on my vacation or what have you, I'm not talking to your white friends about race. That's your job. You do that. So I think we also have to have those kind of boundaries, right? Same thing with gender. Men, locker room talk. Listen. <laughs> y'all y'all ain't ready. Y'all wasn't ready this morning when y'all came here. I don't think y'all fully knew what y'all was signing up for. OK, men, y'all need to start having conversations with each other. Y'all be letting other men talk crazy about women in front of you. You never say anything. You don't, then you go home to your wife. You be trying to kiss on her and stuff. If she knew, if she knew what you and your homies was talking about or what you were sitting there silently letting your homies talk about and say about women, all disrespectful, you wouldn't be getting no kind of kiss. <laughs> Y'all need to start showing up. If you are really dedicated to this work, you need to start showing up for the folks who are not in the space. It's not our job as marginalized folks to always help you understand. Right? Talk to each other. Right? White people in white spaces need to say, no, it's not acceptable to do that. It's not acceptable to speak about folks that way. No, it's not acceptable to assume, right? In the same way that men need to say, no, it's not acceptable. Right? To, be, to talk about women that way or to assume that they deserve something that they may not have deserved because you have sexualized them or whatever the issues are, right? We have, to, we have to have conversations like this so that when we show up into those spaces, we can be that, we want to be that guy, right? Like, I'm that guy. I just am. People don't like it. They get annoyed. Oh, well, I'm that guy. You don't like it? Then I guess you're going to fix your language around me. Right, you're going to learn. You don't want a history lesson? Then figure yourself out. 